Hi everyone! Today you will learn how to build your own plant seed. We're gonna do an experiment and by the end of the experiment you will know how seeds travel from one place to another and why animals are the biggest helpers that help those seeds move around. For this experiment we will make our own seeds and test them using felt glove or felt sheets. We will make pointy seeds like the ones in this picture since those sharp seeds are the ones that get stuck to the animal skin. Before we get started with our fun experiment, it is important to learn about the spreading of seeds, or also called seed dispersal. Seeds need to be moved around because they need to find a good place to grow. They need to find a place that has enough sunlight, water, nutrients, and a big enough space to grow. Animals help make this possible. This is how they help. Animals help move seeds around and help those seeds travel away. They help in three different ways. First, when they eat the seed. Number two, when seeds get attached to their skin. And number three, when they hide them. In this experiment, we will focus on animal attachment. Humans are animals as well. See this sock? The human is transporting the seeds from place to place. Here is a close-up of a seed that attaches to animals. Notice the hooks at the ends of the seed. It's those hooks that attach to the animal. Let's look at some example seeds or seed pods. This is a sweet gum tree pod. You might have seen this when you go for a walk. Here is another example of one of these burr style seed or seed pods. Notice again the hooks at the end. Here are two more examples of um, these style of animal attachment seed pods. Again, look at the hooks. Interestingly, pollen that gets dispersed by bees and insects also are spiky. And those types of pollens will attach to the bee and that is actually one of the ways that that pollen gets dispersed by that attachment. The other types of pollen that don't use insect dispersal are actually smooth. What makes these seed pods and seeds so special is that they use animals that have wings and legs to carry them to faraway places from the parent plant so they can get plenty of sunlight, soil, and water. Okay, so now let's talk about the experiment. The main materials you'll need for this experiment are felt sheets, toothpicks, and styrofoam balls. I got cotton socks and seeds as extra materials just to test them out. You will also have a variety of other testing materials such as pipe cleaners, paper clips, metal wires, rubber bands, and you will um, you can also use those styrofoam balls. So now you can go ahead and design your seeds. The challenge is to build a seed that can be carried away by an animal. Once you have built your seeds, go ahead and test them out. Can your seeds make it through an obstacle course attached to you? Um, try walking, running, hopping, and crawling. Which design stays on the longest? Importantly, you will need to improve your design. Look at your designs that you've already made. What worked? What didn't work? How can you make a better design? Let's go ahead and go over some examples. Okay, so we break the toothpicks into small pieces. As you can see in this video, I already have them in small pieces. Then you go ahead and put those small pieces on the styrofoam ball like so. Once you finish making your sharp and pointy seats, test it out by grabbing your felt sheet and putting it over your seats. I also tested out the cotton socks. The seats got easily stuck to both. 
I also placed my felt sheet over real seats to see if they easily get stuck, and they did. And that goes to show that seats easily get stuck to animal skin. Our experiment shows that seats get stuck to animal skin, which helps seats move around. I hope you had fun learning about seat dispersal or also the way seats travel around. Thank you for being awesome scientists. And remember, next time you see a seat stuck on your clothes, you're helping that seat travel and grow somewhere else. Have fun.